I thought I'd just make one up today. So you might be able to see, I've just done a few very simple guidelines on the paper in, in pencil. Only very, very rough, just spent a few seconds doing it. I'm just putting clear water, just wetting the paper all over like I normally do. And then I'm just going to go a bit crazy now, I think, with the colours. Try a bit of everything. Let's go a bit of, a bit of light red, lemon yellow. Go a bit of uh, ultramarine, ultramarine, bit of Payne's grey. Let's just push this in from this one side, coming down there. A little bit on this side as well. A bit of down there, there's going to be water down the bottom. These are in crimson, Payne's grey. Knocking a few clouds in. A little bit of reflection down there. Clean tissue. Just pop a few more clouds. You can see the profile of the hills there, so I just want to make sure that they're going to be seen nice and clear. Same on this side, let's just pop them up there. A few little clouds. Using the same colours, just popping some of these seagulls up there, and then just vary the colour slightly as it's coming down. And even soften this off a bit. A few clouds coming over the hills and mountains. So yeah, just do a hit and miss. So it's sort of coming over there and then a bit more down the bottom, and then same on the other side. Changing the colours, I come down. Just constantly varying it. It comes down into the valley at the bottom. A bit more on this side. A bit of green, a bit of the grass on the lower slopes of the hills. in there, working its way around. And then it continues. So the levels out at the bottom. Make it a bit more misty and then maybe stick a few trees down there. Just lighten that off so you can see the tree line when I put it in. And paper strips, I'm just going to pull this tight. And then once it's flat, I'll pop a few trees in. Um, so let's try something a bit different. Let's try it with the the uh, flat brush, three quarter inch flat. So I'm just going to go into lemon yellow, Payne's grey, nice dark greeny look. And I'm just going to I mean, you can use the hike if you want with them. I'm just going to sort of flick up some some trees. See, look, see, it looks like trees going up the mountain. Just flicking them up there. Like I say, you can use the egg for that if you want. I'm just doing it just 
just to try something different with Ola. Bring that right down to the bottom. Yeah, just work that. Let's put a few on the other side. A few more going up this mountain. Just flick it up. I even try it doing it like this, just sort of see how you sort of flick them up like that. Do them in big batches then, do a whole load of them in one go. But vary the height as well, in fact we just go That's it. Just one like that instead. Yeah. And then switch back to the height. Just give it a quick clean and then I'm just gonna go straight into raw sienna. Raw sienna, just get the bottom of that, bring that down a bit, blend it all in. That's uh, sort of nicely blended in there, it's just a bit on the other side. And just bring that land into there. Leveling it out. Any water. So I just want a little gap there. I don't want to join the land completely. Um, bit of burnt umber, bit of brown, sort of, sort of muddy banks and what have you. Same on the other side. And then land sort of comes around like that and sweeps a bit like that. So I've got loads of different colours on the brush now. If you look at look, look at the brush, as if you can see that very well. I'm just taking a bit of everything so that when I go on to the land there you can see all different shades and what sits coming out. Maybe even a touch of light red just to see, just liven it up a bit. And that comes out. Like that. So see how the hairs split up, just dip the tips in the water and they'll come straight back together again. And then let's just go into something dark, just so I can put, so I can sort of level these off a bit. I'm trying to make them parallel with the bottom of the paper. To the rigger. Let's just pop a little boat in there somewhere. Little boat on the water. Water. Little fisherman sat at the end of his boat. Something like that. Um, With the rigger, you know what? Just gonna pop me down there. And I'm gonna call that one done. Let's have a let's have a closer look at it. So this is our finished painting. So let's uh, have a closer look at it. So one of the uh, benefits of just making it up as you go along, you get a chance to just go crazy with the palette. So. I'm just not having to keep looking at the reference photo, you can just go crazy with the sky. Put all sorts of colour in there, work it all the way down and then reflect it into the water. With some nice sky reflections. Down the mountainside, I've, I've took bits off with the tissue to so I'll try and create that sort of misty look. Sort of cloud coming over the side and then sort of misty and then left some edges hard. And then back to Misty. Same on the other side, working our way up. As you see, I took it off with the tissue and then hard edges again all the way up the mountain side. 
You see how the flat brush can be quite effective for creating great big batches of trees with very little effort. Same again on this right side. Remember how I took the uh, the paint behind it off with a tissue. You see how it's lighter there, just to help with see the profile of the trees working their way up the mountain side. Then you should use a bit of raw sienna just to blend it in with the bottom as the land just works its way out into the lock. Let me get on this side and then just using various colours just brought the land all the way around into the foreground. And I, I never even touched the water, I just use it as a reflection of the sky. And then our little man in the boat just adds a bit of life to the scene. Well I hope you like that. Thanks for watching, keep practicing. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.